Hello! Today I'm going to show you how to perform an initial setup of your DVC-6200 SIS instrument. To begin, open your instruments tag. And find this button on the toolbar. This is the setup wizard button. This will begin the setup process. First we are going to take the instrument out of service. Click yes and then click set out of service. Note that if the DVC-6200 SIS is set with the hardware shutdown circuitry enabled, the device will still respond to changes in signal and the valve will move. So click OK, and now the setup window will open. Since it is an SIS device, you can only have travel control, but this first window asks you to choose the relay type. You can choose the best type of relay for your device, but the one I am working with is a relay C. So choose your relay type and click Next. Now enter in your maximum supply pressure and your pressure units of preference. I'm going to leave the units in PSI and leave my max pressure at 90 PSI. Click next to move on. The actuator information is next. Select your actuator make, model, size, and what kind of volume booster it has, if any. Mine is an Elomatic E-Series. It is a small 25 size and without any volume booster. So click Next to get to the valve mounting information screen. Choose whether your valve will open or close in a zero power condition and choose the actuator style. My valve is fail closed with a single piston with a spring actuator. Click Next once you've chosen your options. Next are the SIS setup options. This is where you can choose the partial stroke test starting point. I'm going to leave the starting point for the valve is open as this is the valve's normal position. Lastly, check the box if you have an instrument connected to the local control panel. Click Next and then select if you want to move valve now to set travel sensor motion. To avoid having to do this later, I'm going to select Yes and then click Next. Now choose your tuning set. A tuning set is selected based on the actuator type and size selected previously. My tuning set is E. Choose your tuning set and then click Next to proceed. If this is the first time you're running the setup wizard, you can choose Yes, but if your instrument may have previous settings, you'll lose them if you pick Yes. Click Finish. At this point, your options have been configured. You can let ValveLink automatically run the auto travel calibration, set the SIS parameters to default values, and enable the SIS triggers by clicking Yes. This window offers a warning that the valve will move now. Click next to continue. If your instrument has unsaved diagnostic data, now is your chance to save it. While ValveLink performs a partial stroke test calibration, the test speed window will pop up. Choose a percentage per second and click OK. I'm going to set the test speed to 1% per second. Once the calibration process is complete, you can put the instrument back in service. Click OK, and then click Yes, and click Set in Service Step to put it back in service. Now we are done. We have successfully set up and calibrated the DVC-6200 SAS using the Setup Wizard.